So tonight we're going to talk about estate planning. The first thing I want to talk about with estate planning is really that estate planning is more than just transferring things at your death. Everybody thinks of estate planning as I need to write a will and how do I get my stuff to some beneficiaries. Uh, and that's a very important part of estate planning, that a well-drafted will or trust will get everything to beneficiaries someday. Uh, and uh, you can reduce taxes, you can re reduce administrative costs, and re really reduce hassle for your family. Uh, but just as important, estate planning is also to improve your quality of life. Uh, so medical and financial powers of attorney make it uh, easier for your family or your uh, friends or loved ones to take care of you if you become disabled or incapacitated. And uh, a trust of some sort can help uh, with providing for your family and making a smooth transition uh, if you're incapacitated or, or after your death. So the first thing I need to talk about is probate. Um, probate is the court process of transferring somebody's assets to their beneficiaries after their death. Uh, and if you have a, a will, then the, the will designates where those assets go. If you don't have a will, then there's default rules in each state that de designate how the assets are transferred. We have to talk about first what's included in probate. If you have jointly titled property with a right of survivorship, whoever lives the longest gets the house, that does not go through probate if there's a survivor. So if you and your spouse have a house together and it's jointly titled, then if one spouse passes away, the second spouse gets the house automatically by, by the law. If you have a pay on death account, a bank on account that says pay on death to my spouse or to my kid, or if you've got a designated beneficiary account, like a retirement account or life insurance, you designate a beneficiary. Those all pass automatically based upon the agreement you have set up or the legal title. Anything, though, that's in just one person's name, uh, either jointly titled property that does not have right of survivorship uh, or accounts that are just in one person's name or that don't have a designated beneficiary, have to go through this probate process. So if, you've got, uh, if you're a single person and you pass away, a lot of things will go through probate. If you have uh, uh, spouses and one spouse passes away, a lot of things will go automatically. But if so both spouses pass away, then a lot of things have to go through this probate process. So the probate court, uh, here in Arlington, you go to the county courthouse, uh, and the probate court is responsible for overseeing that. They basically are there to watch and make sure that everything gets to the right place, either under the default rules uh, or under your will. So if you don't have a will, every state has default rules. It's called intestacy. Uh, and in Virginia, the Virginia Code section is uh, there. Uh, it, it lays out the order of who inherits. So if you don't have any will and something happens to you, uh, if you're married, your spouse gets everything. Uh, if you are not, uh, if you're, you don't have a spouse that survives you, but you have children, then the children are the next to take everything. If you don't have a spouse or children, then it goes to your parents uh, and then to their descendants. And if, if you don't have any siblings, nieces, nephews, and it goes to the grandparents and their descendants. And it kind of keeps going like that. If we completely run out of descendants, then the state of Virginia gets all of your assets, right? Um, but again, every state has their default rules here. Uh, so if you have the default rules, the ones that are set up in the law for intestacy, you don't get to designate a lot of things. You can't say who takes care of kids if something happens to you. You don't get to set up any special rules of how the money is managed or spent if, uh, if something happens to you. You can't make any specific gifts to individuals or charities. It's kind of like a default plan that you can't opt out of. Uh, and everything that goes through that probate process is, it would be governed by these rules. Mm -hmm.